Now you can easily restyle your design to many styles as you want or create multiple variations using the new Kettle Flows feature. This is how I used it to create six different styles of a design that I found in Etsy. And I also used Kettle Flows to create three different variations of this design in seconds. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it on Kettle. So let's jump in. So let's head to our dashboard and from the left menu, we're going to choose templates. And for this example, I'm going to choose one of the templates on Kittle. Let's uh, use this one with this cool streetwear design. This is not my design, by the way. I'm just using it for reference to show you how to use Kittle flow. So this is a design made on Kittle. You can see that the elements are not grouped. So just press on the artboard. And once you do that, you will see a menu appears at the top. You can press on the smart board tab and this will create another artboard that is connected to the previous artboard with this arrow and on the right side you can see you can change the ratio of the artboard so this one is three by two you can change it to one by one or two by three so let's keep it in two by three and the quality to too high because this usually generates better results so let's press on the smart board again to create another smart board and another one so i'm going to test three variations for this design so basically if you press on any artboard you will see this prompt box appears on the right side with the design attached and you can add your prompt to recreate or restyle or regenerate a new design based on the previous or the first design so i have my prompts ready i'm going to share the prompts with you for this three artboards that i'm going to generate and i'm basically using the same design prompt so it's exactly describing the same design but i changed the character and the text and at, at the end I'm saying I added keep the same design structure and the font style so for the first design I asked it to generate three gangster cats and the second one is going to be three gangster wolves so basically I'm asking it to change this design to three gangster wolves wearing urban clothing and again at the, at the end of the, the prompt I'm asking it to keep the same style and of the design and the same style of, of the font and for the third artboard i'm doing the same using converting it to three dogs in different styles husky french bulldog and then press on the generate and this usually takes a couple of seconds to have the design ready so we are waiting for three designs to be generated and now we have the designs ready so this one is the first one it's really nice very similar design style but with three cats but the background is a little bit crowded with elements i like this design much better because the the, the the background is simple we can easily remove the background and this one is created on um, a lighter background it's also very cool design so all the, the three designs they have very similar font style of course i asked it to change the the text of the font of the text of each design so you can do that very simple by adding it to the prompt but now this result or this artboard for example if we would like to use it we have to convert it first to image using the upper button like so and once it's converted it is still an image so we have to either vectorize it or remove the background and upscale it in order to use it so let's try to remove the background using the background remove background button and this the result was not ideal so let's go back and this time i'm going to use the upscale button and then vectorize it so i'm going to choose all the 16 colors and press on the vectorize button and again the result is not perfect you can see that the design lost some of the sharpness so i'm going to undo the process once again and de delete this design so let's go back to the same artboard select it so let's go back to the same artboard and add a new smart artboard and this time we are going to prompt or ask kettle to keep the design as is but on a white background so instead of using the remove background tool or the upscaler we are going to create the same design on a white background this makes it much easier to remove the background using the remove background button and as you can see the result is is great so you can easily remove the background of this design and we can also
also try one more thing using also the smart board we're going to create another version with exactly the same design but on a transparent background and this time i'm going to check the transparent background button and press on the generate this is going to create the same design on a transparent background without losing any of the quality of or the sharpness of the design and here you go as you can see it is on a transparent background but in order to use it you have to convert it to an image so that you can see the transparent background so just press on the artboard and press on the convert to image and this would convert the design to an image without the artboard as without the background as you can see so you just need to upscale it and use it as is without a problem and this would keep the design quality and design sharpness without a problem so if you would like let's add it to a mock-up to do that press on the artboard so there's a pro it's, but there is a small problem with design because there is black areas between the legs of the wolf so to just press on the design and choose the eraser from the top menu to erase any additional parts that you don't want make sure to use this carefully i'm just showing you how to to do it without going into details so you can also change the size of the eraser as per your likings to make sure not to erase any part of the design and even if you do that by mistake you can simply switch the erase and fill button to a fill and then restore the erased parts so just press on the erase and fill highlight the area that you would like to to fill and this will generate parts or parts for the deleted areas and once you're you finish press on the done button and now let's try to add this design to a mock-up so to do that simply add an artboard using the artboard button below add it behind your design change the color to black or any color select the artboard press on the mock-up button to switch to the mock-up menu and this will automatically place your design on a mock-up using kettle's built-in mock-ups and you can download the design directly with the mock-up using the mock-up down using the download mock-up button now for our, our second example let's go back to the dashboard and press on the new design select any of the artboard sizes i'm going to choose the t-shirt artboard and this time i would like to restyle one of the designs into different styles so again press on the add smart board button from the right menu change the aspect ratio to 3 by 4 and this time i would like to restyle a design into 6 or 7 styles so i'm going to add smart boards add 6 smart boards to the original smart board just press on the original smart board and keep adding smart boards so now i have six smart boards added i'm going to upload a design this one this is not my design this is a design that i liked on etsy i'm going to use the eraser to erase part of the design or part of the image this is a screenshot by the way i just took a screenshot of the design from etsy again all the credit goes to its original designer i'm just going to show you how to restyle a design that you have so on on each artboard just use the restyle prompt that you like i'm going to use the restyle prompts that i have used previously with the chat gpt 40 video so this one is going to convert it to a print ready t-shirt illustration that says uh, in a merge by amazon style so again all the prompts or that i'm going to use for the different six styles are going to be in the description and it's the same prompts that i have used in my chat gpt video so just what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep selecting each artboard and add the style that I want so this one is an anime style illustration just make sure that you don't change the text by mistake to keep the the same one or write your new text this one is a vintage sunset style so I'm asking it to convert it into a vintage sunset style and eventually once you're done you can press on the generate button for each artboard and wait for the results and by the way if you keep this workflow as is and save it you can simply change any design or replace the original design and this will generate new designs or new styles based on the updated design without the need to recreate the whole workflow again and this is what makes kittle's workflow amazing just save it save your workflow update your design and the workflow will automatically regenerate new designs based on the new updated original design that you have added now all the designs have been generated some of them are really cool some of them do not fit for print on demand because of the background so 
if you find something, this one is, for example, is perfect. You can, again, regenerate it on a transparent background or try to remove the background using the remove background button. This one, the kawaii is, is very nice, very cute. Also, you can easily remove the background using the titles built-in remove background option. This one, the sunset vintage style is cool. This one, the Japanese style is very nice, but the background is not ideal for t-shirts. So you can simply regenerate the design using a new prompt. This one also is cool. This one, I like the, the style, but the background is not perfect. So let's regenerate this one, but after adding on a plain white background. So just press on the generate again, and this will generate a, des a new design on the same smart board using the updated prompt. And until we wait, I'm going to share my flow, my kettle flow with you. So just press on it in the description of the video, and this will take you to my restyler flow on kettle. All you just, all you need to do is to add your design and press on the generate buttons on it, and this will create or re this will restyle your design automatically. And here we go. The background is now in a plain white background, and we can easily use the kettle's remove background button. So if we press, if we select the artboard, we can choose the convert to image. We can we can convert it to image and and then press and then press on the remove background. And as you can see, the design now looks perfect without the background and all the design elements are kept as is. And similar what to what we have done before, we can add an artboard and select the artboard from above. Press on the mockup button to have the design added to a mockup on Kittle. So that's that was a quick tutorial on how you can use the new Kittle Flow feature to create new designs or restyle your original design to different styles using only prompts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials. Thanks for watching.